Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of HBM Mod. Last episode, uh, that was a while ago. We did the chem plant, that's right. Uh, so we got the chem plant up and running. It's already made concrete, which is what this stuff is. Concrete tiles. Concrete. Uh, you can make concrete bricks. There's a lot of concrete stuff. You can just look at this. All this colored stuff is what we have access to right now, technically. If we wanted to. And also this, uh, as well. Concrete tile, asbestos, concrete is the next one, which requires asbestos bars, which we don't have, and that's going to be used uh, at a later date. We don't really need it right now, so. But yeah, to make concrete tiles, you just take a concrete like this, boom, boom. Now, to get concrete, that's the hard part, because you got to get, um, like, stone and stuff out of the ground. Of course, we have access to a desert, so we can get, like, sandstone, we can shred that up for sand. And then for our gravel, we just gotta go mining. Pretty easy. And for the actual gravel, you just shred cobblestone. Pretty easy. It, it, it's, it's so easy just to get this stuff. That's why I have so much of it right now. Which today, I think we're gonna tackle something that doesn't need electricity. Something that's actually gonna kind of help us a little bit. A lot, actually. It. I mean... It's not to say that this hasn't helped us a lot. <laughs> just, just so far. The one thing we don't have right now that we really could use... Oh wait, yeah, that's an anvil as well. We kind of need a new anvil. We need to upgrade. So back in the day, anvils used to be uh, harder to get. Now, there's only Saturnite and Dash. These are your two options. Yeah, but Saturnite is really easy to make. Like, actually, really easy. You just need sulfuric acid and high-speed steel. And... Cool. Oh, but wait, we don't have any of that right now. So, we don't have um, energy from our coal. <laughs> and I don't want to make uh, a, a real mess out of my coal right now because I want to save the coal, turn the coal into coal coke so we can power the crucible to make the high-speed steel we're going to need. Because we are not making high-speed steel right now. Alright, so I just had to reload because my sound just disabled. <laughs> Bruh. So actually, the weird thing about Java Edition is that when you unplug your headphones on accident, it just completely breaks the sound. Because you gotta, like, re-put in your headphones and then, but it doesn't actually do that. It doesn't change the sound. Just, just, there, there is no more sound at that point. Like, what? What? So we got a whole bunch of stuff we need to do today. We gotta get, like, batteries and things, and, uh, yeah, we're still a little behind on those. Let's go ahead and get started with the first thing we need to do, which is getting a heating oven again. So, <laughs> to do this, we're going to go ahead and make another heating oven. It's just that easy. What does it cost? Steel plate and industrial grade copper, which we have a lot of that, and steel. And we made even more steel, by the way. That's um, a lot of steel now. A lot of steel. We're just gonna go ahead and cook these up in there. One, two, three, four. It's six. Actually, we do need six. I'll tell you why, because of the ash pit. So, I wanna have an ash pit for this thing as well. This is gonna become our oil setup. <laughs> this area in the middle. Ah, uh, no, I don't think. I don't know. Kinda wanna put it on the edge here, because it's not gonna be in the way of, like, the actual way the base is supposed to look. Because we are building this after something else, so we might as well try to preserve as much of that as we could. I'll tell you what, if I do build it in this corner, then I could send out the uh, actual piping for it in that direction and build the refineries over there, which I think would be the best option, because this is going to be our oil setup to start out with. I know I said we would do a different oil setup, but I don't remember what that was. I'm pretty sure we have oil on the map or something. Uh, it, it doesn't matter. We're just going to do the oil setup this way to start, and then we'll change it later on. We just need to get started with oil. That's all we really need to do. Just to get oil stuff. And I mean, we're gonna... Actually, we might be able to just skip Saturnite. I don't like Saturnite that much. It's it's kind of annoying. Dash would probably actually be easier to get. Because there's less steps and less work. Whereas Dash... Dash is just a pain. But I think Dash might be cheaper. That's the thing about Dash. I think it is cheaper. Like, we can make that right now. I don't want to make it right now. It's a it's a pain. So 
This is the iron for the actual... Oh, we shouldn't have made a heating oven. We're supposed to make a firebox for it. Well, that's fine. This thing makes the coal coke it needs anyway. So the difference between like a, a firebox and a heating oven is that the heating oven's faster, so it's good for these applications where you want it to do this stuff really fast, but it consumes more fuel in the process. So it's, it's not the best for your fuel efficiency. So, uh, yeah. It's, that's the thing about it. So now it's on to the next stage, which is the actual oven itself. So how do you make the heat, uh, the combination oven? Well, let's go ahead and take a look. So this is combination oven. I have to put... Give me a recipe. Wait, I can just click on it for the recipe. What am I doing? Been making the whole mistake this entire time. We need eight stone bricks. And I think I know where we can get the stone bricks. I don't want to go there, though. There's actually... Out in that direction, I found uh, found the dungeon, whatever it's called. <laughs> the vanilla one. The one that ends the game. Yeah, that one. So, uh, I don't know if you all know what that's called. I don't, I don't even know what that's called. I don't... I actually have no clue what that's called. Like, I'm being genuinely serious. Like, what? It's just end game dungeon, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Three, four... We're gonna need more power for this thing. Oh, it is powered. I didn't realize. That's good. Hey, finish up. Good. I would have probably made the ash pit then if it's if it's finished. Then let's make the ash pit. Needs six stone, doesn't it? Doesn't need eight stone. Probably needs eight stone. Boom! Yet another ash pit. Yet another firebox. It is looking a. Uh, this is looking mighty clean. I actually am enjoying how clean this base is looking right now, but I know that's not going to last. Odds are, this base is going to be looking like sewage in a few days. Well, in a few episodes, I should say. <laughs> it's going to look disgusting. Like, it'll be piled of crates and stuff of just things that we don't really need right now. Anyway, we got some of the stuff we need for the coconut oven. But what do we need next? Well, we need copper plates. And to make those, you just got to cook six copper in the machine that doesn't have any fuel in it. But don't worry, because I just gotta shove some fuel in there, and it will do its job. So there goes the heating oven, cooking up some stuff in the crucible. Boom. And I can throw away these bricks into this box here, because I don't really need them. We're gonna color coat everything, too. Make it all look nice. Now we need six logs, or actually 16 logs, and uh, that is it. I think. Actually, that is it. That, that's definitely it. So we have seven logs. I got a pillar up here to get this one. Um, back up to seven. I got a pillar up all the way to the top, and then I'll just chop the way down. Oh, come on. There's one more up there. I just can't reach. Bang. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. One log short. Dang it. Why they have to short me these trees? Oh, I don't want to shop that one of them. <laughs> that would look disgusting. But our copper plates are done. Nice. We gotta get two of these, and we don't have to weld them nowadays. I think you used to have to weld these things to make it, which it always was a bit weird. Bit of, bit of annoying. At least to me it was kind of annoying. We're gonna probably bone meal our next tree, so uh, once, that, once that sapling falls, I'm bone mealing. Because I got so many bones I can do that. Let me go ahead and get some more bones, so I can actually, actually, might have just bone meal in here. I don't think we, no, no, don't have any bone meal. Okay, we'll make some more then. I probably used all the bone meal for dye, for like making templates and stuff, so, that's probably where that's all been. Bro, I'm going to need a new pair of headphones, I think, because my headphones are just exploding. This is actually not good. <laughs> I mean, they've lasted for like over a year now, which is good. Because we all know, oh my gosh, it's 16 bricks. Are you kidding me? Now, I know there's that fancy brick furnace, but we don't need that. That's actually garbage. Let's not get a brick furnace, because that sounds stupid. Let's just make it in a steel furnace, because it's actually goaded and amazing. Okay, there we go. Ready. Coke oven. Boom! Combination oven. Uh, it's basically a Coke oven from Greg Deck, but... For name. All we gotta do now... Let's put in some coal. And then we gotta make a welding machine next episode. So we can make the fractioning towers and stuff for the refinery. Which we can now make. So, 
Just gotta put in one piece of coal. And that should supply it for a pretty good long while. Now to automate this, however. This is the first time you're gonna need conveyor belts for automation. So let's go ahead and take a look at the conveyor belt recipe, because I am not familiar with the early game conveyor belt recipes. Um, there's always the stone one, very expensive, not recommended, but the uh, steel one is always the best one, and that's the one I liked it too. However, how do you get conveyor belts? Well, just take leather and two ingots of iron. Oh my gosh, this leather is actually useful for something. I was thinking I was going to make a bunch of item frames, but no, this is for solar belts what conveyor belts <laughs> that what solar belt what is a solar belt anyway you're gonna need ejectors and to make the ejector you you need this 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 stuff some absolute crap you tell me if you ask me I'm oh, sorry what <laughs> okay what is this SC voltage controller is that for this the star computer or isn't it so this cold coke is a really good fuel. You can make this into graphite as well. And this stuff can power the heating ovens. So that's the main reason we want that. Now you can feed this thing with a hopper, but you need the conveyor belts for extraction, which is why we gotta make ejectors. And if you don't wanna make a whole load of these um, ejectors because of these pneumatic pistons, what you wanna do is just use steel because that's that's the literally the best way to avoid doing that. Like there's no other way to avoid it. You're gonna have to make a bunch of those pneumatic pistons, but if you use steel, you have to make less of them. It it's literally why you should use steel for this. Um, with the with the eject with the uh, inserter, not so much. But that's it. And uh, how do you use these then? Well, pretty simple as well. What you gotta do is put this where you wanna eject something. So if you wanna eject something from this thing, the back should be facing the um the side on here, yeah, let's go ahead and show it here. This side should always face the object you're trying to get stuff out of. So and you're probably wondering, well it's probably really simple, like you know, I mean like you just place this thing like and it just automatically does that. But if you use a screwdriver you can easily mess it up and then uh yeah. So Simply, what we're going to do is we're going to place down uh, one of these and then we're going to go ahead and make a bit of a conveyor belt that goes down this way and into a chute. Now, to do this, we're going to need a screwdriver to make this all super compact. But don't worry, because the screwdriver is actually not that hard. It's it's really simple to make and it's it's using a lot of things, so you should make it. So, we're, we're going to right-click that one, that one, and that one. And that is the entire ejection system for this. As you can see, I don't think we need two, though. I actually uh, think we only need one for this. Yeah, no, we only need one for this. Well, you need two for bauxite. That's that, that's why I was thinking two. My bad. 